Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of September. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading um, may not be for you, okay? Just, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. If you feel confused, then it's not for you, okay? You shouldn't feel confused. If you feel confused, then this reading probably isn't for you, okay? Um, remember that the timing is fluid. The readings I've been doing, at least the daily vibes anyway, um, and the and the weeklies are happening for me up to a week later. So keep that in mind. Could be if some have been like three days. So just keep it in mind. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take those. Typically, my readings are love readings. So we'll see whatever comes up. You know, it feels like there's some sort of, there's a secret, okay? There's a secret here somewhere. Somebody is reluctant to take the next step in a situation. Things may feel like they're upside down at this time. Something might feel like it's, it's been turned upside down. There's some sort of worry, maybe even some regrets over something. Um, things are a little chaotic. Yeah, there's a little bit of chaos. Worry. Mm. Definitely there's something going on. You know, there's some kind of secret here. There's something that isn't being told that needs to be told. Something's heavy, weighing very, very heavily on you. There could be money problems, financial issues perhaps, but there's definitely some worry. <laughs> there is definitely some worry here about something. And it feels like it's just really weighing you down. You're hiding it pretty well, though. You're hiding something pretty well. But, it, like I said, it's weighing you down. It's, it's causing stress. There's stress. There's definitely some stress here. There. Wow. Wow. Let me make sure this is focused. Oh, it is focused pretty well, huh? So, you guys are being tested. You are being tested whether you can be honest with yourself about a situation or not. Whether you're ready to move forward in a situation or not. You know, you're definitely going through some sort of test. It does have to do with your perseverance. It has to do with your patience. You know, patience is a virtue, right? Um, I feel like there's an exciting new opportunity a passionate opportunity or an offer or an invitation that has come in that could lead to success but you may not feel like you have the courage to accept this offer okay there's a lack of courage here now um, this is for Capricorn Sun Moon rising and Venus male or female I'm female so I tend to um, I tend to cater to the females a little bit more, so I do apologize. Just if you are a male and you are watching this, just, just flip it, okay? Um, there is a golden opportunity, though. There's an opportunity that could lead to something solid and stable, but it looks like you're in no hurry to accept this opportunity because there's a lack of courage. There's a lack of strength. There's a lack of... Uh, willpower perhaps to honor your own truth 
you know, that judgment reversed to answer this call. You have to make a heavy decision, period. There is a heavy decision that you need to make. And it feels as though now you've you've got this opportunity that you've been waiting for, okay? You've got this golden opportunity that you've been waiting for. You've been getting prepared for it. Now this golden opportunity has arrived, okay? It's arrived. And now your strength is being tested, okay? So your strength is being tested. Can you accept this opportunity? Do you want this opportunity? Whatever this opportunity is, it's well suited for you. There's a good, it's a good match, okay? It is a good match. But you may have to let go of something that is not in alignment with your truth to, to accept this opportunity. So I feel like you guys have a heavy, heavy decision to make. I think you're, you're, you're hanging on to something that is weighing you down and you probably have to drop it you have to drop something you have to drop something so that you can accept this opportunity yeah so that's where we're at there capricorn you may you may be scared you may be scared okay there's a little bit of fear here um you may not trust your own judgment okay you may not trust your own judgment and you're really worried about starting a new chapter, starting a new path with somebody and it not, not moving forward. You know, I think you're trying to protect yourself in some way as well. Yeah, it's a gamble. It is a gamble. And I feel like you you could be th you could end up throwing away this opportunity because you're too insecure. You could be dealing with a Leo that is bringing you down, holding you back. You have you have uh Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. There's also a Scorpio here. Uh Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo right in the middle. So for a lot of you you are dealing with a Leo that is in the way. Is in the way of your happiness. Right in the middle here. So I think that some of you are dealing with a Leo. Um, or another fire sign or an air sign. But it feels as though this is definitely something. There's an opportunity that is coming in. That is something you've been waiting for. Okay. Um, and there's potential for you to be very content with it. Very, very content. But. your insecurities you know your insecurities are, are not allowing you to move in this direction but i feel with that five of pentacles you you may have struck maybe you've been struggling financially and maybe that's why you can't move on if you have been struggling financially it feels like your finances are going to pick back up so i'm just here to tell you that that you are probably going to receive some some money from some situation i don't know what but it looks like money is going to increase for you. So if you've been struggling, you know, be prepared. It looks like you, you could receive something, a gift, okay? Maybe somebody gives you some money or something you invested in a long time ago finally comes to fruition and, and this money shows up. So if you're, if you're struggling for money or you're worried about money or you're worried about having the finances to take care of something, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because... You're gonna you're gonna be fine. You I mean this is this is some this is a gift from above. This ace of pentacles. This is a gift, whether and it's something you can touch. This could be um you know, a gift of money, it can be a new car, it can be a new home, it can be a new person in your life. Okay? So something is coming that is very good that you've been waiting for. Okay? Could be a child even, because this is a child. It could be a child. So I feel as though whatever is coming, Capricorn, whether it's a new partner or a new child, whatever is here is something that is, is something that you deserve. You worked hard for it and you should accept it. I think that you should accept this offer or this, this gift. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the what ifs. Just 
Just accept it. Yeah. You guys are holding... The thing is, is something needs to go first. And I already saw that. You guys are holding on to something. Or the person that you're dealing with. That can go that way as well. Somebody is holding on to something that is getting old. It is ready to end. But somebody doesn't have the strength to let it end. So I'm not sure what that is. But... But the death card reverse is a release that needs to happen. A transition that needs to happen for you to get this golden opportunity. So something has to be born, you know, and, and released or, you know, it has to come out. Some kind of truth, some sort of release, because this is a release and this is a release. Some sort of release needs to happen for you to receive this opportunity that you are meant to receive. You need to find your strength to allow this transition to happen and not worry. Don't let your worries hold you back. Yeah, somebody's not being honest with themselves and that is the absolute truth. Okay, there's a lot of oh, lack of clarity, confusion, fear holding somebody back from success. And it's really sad. I mean, with that death card reverse, there's an opportunity for a major new beginning here that is that would lead to success, but you have to transition. You have to do it. You have to cut the cord with somebody else. The cord needs to be cut. This could have to do with a birth. I don't know where that is coming from, but um, fear, <laughs> definitely some fear. The birth of something new, okay? This is what this is. But anyway, um, I don't even need the Empress card to see that because with endings, you know, when, when you have that release, and you go through a transition and a transformation, a new situation arises, okay? But anyway, let's get back to this card. This is about taking that mask off, seeing seeing the truth, speaking the truth. Somebody's been in denial. Somebody's been living in fear. Somebody's been blocking, even though they know that they need to make a move. They need to make a decision, a stressful decision. And I feel like with this two of swords, you're at a stalemate. It's like you're at this you're at this crossroads, and you have to make this difficult decision. And you have this opposition looking at you. You're looking at this in, in different ways, and maybe you're dealing with a person that is 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 giving you some opposition and you want to move out of this situation but you're afraid to face it you're just afraid to face it so you're pretending that everything is okay when everything is not okay pretending that's what that is you could be avoiding the truth because of fear but Faith and trust is needed. Faith and trust in your own choices and your own decisions, okay? Have faith and trust in yourself. This is a test, okay? You gotta see, look at what's mirroring each other, okay? This is a test of your strength. Okay, it is, it is. Somebody is refusing to wake up in a situation even though they know what they need to do. I refuse to see this situation in a different manner. And it could be because of pride. Because the strength card is pride. It's ego. It is. You think about a lion, it's a pride. It's pride. So pride could be holding you back. What's everybody else going to say if I, if I do this? If I take off the mask and tell the truth and say how I really feel, what's everybody else going to say? You need to find the strength to face adversity. Woo! 
There you are. You are represented by this, okay? So this is, you're tempted. You're tempted. You are absolutely tempted. I think that you have some... <laughs> Well, desires that you are denying. <laughs> Some of your desires are being denied, okay? And it feels as though you have an opportunity to break the chains with another situation but you're gonna have to do it you're gonna have to face your fears now there's a strong strong bond between you and another person there's a deep attraction here that is pulling you it's like you're being pulled in this direction you can't break free from it You have to release something, <laughs> which we've already talked about. I mean, this is release, this is release, this is release. You're going to have to face your fears. You're, and, and the devil is about fears, okay? You have to face your fears in a situation. And whatever this situation is, there's a magnetic pull in a different direction. There's a magnetic pull. Then what? The, in a different direction in a, to what you're in right now. You're going to have to find the strength to face your fears, to move towards this new opportunity that you are being magnetically drawn to, to the point where you can barely deny it. There could be some addictions here that need to be released for some of you. There's some addictions here. Capricorn, Scorpio. Capricorn, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Scorpio again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um... I feel as though somebody is trying to deny the truth of a connection. Trying to deny the truth because they are being held back by, I think it's another person. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody has lost their focus and their concentration. You could be dealing with another person who is manipulating you, who is lying to you, who is lazy. You know, they're conceited, they're self-centered, and perhaps you're afraid of this person. What's this person going to do if I walk away? What, what's it going to do? What am I going to lose? What am I going to lose if I walk away from this situation in which I'm being controlled? I feel like you are being controlled by another person, whether it's mentally or physically or both. Because people control other people through blackmail and all kinds of things. Therefore, I feel like you you're, you really have to... You're dealing with an individual that isn't noble and you know it. So you're stuck. You're stuck. And it's time for you to speak your truth. It's time for you to assert yourself. Be assertive. Speak up. Defend yourself. Be optimistic about the future. Love yourself enough to open your heart to whoever is meant to be. This 
you have a choice. You have a choice between two people. You do. I know that you do. You have a choice between two people. And I feel like one of them is holding you back. You're not happy. You're not happy with this person. And now you have a new opportunity, which you are, are, are strongly drawn to. You're strongly drawn to. And you can't move forward with this person because you're dealing with somebody that is manipulating you into staying and or dealing with them or who knows what. And now you have an opportunity to choose, I mean, with these twos, and I can see that there's two people, to release and go in the new direction. But you fear, you fear of what you're going to lose, maybe financially or whatever. What are you going to lose by going in this new direction, by releasing and accepting this new offer? So I feel as though you have a person that is offering you love. You have another person that is manipulating you through their words and their actions, okay? So you got one that you probably feel for very deeply, the other one you're scared of. <laughs> Not funny. I'm sorry. Um, so I feel like you you're you probably need to make a decision as to whether you you want to just be happy or do you want to prove yourself do you want to prove your your um that you can withstore with withhold this or with withstand this pain withstand this turmoil with this person that is hurting you or do you want to just be happy you have to make a decision. Are you ready or can you face your pride and let go of a situation that is making you feel empty and lost? Or can you move forward and, and face the storm? You know, what I, you know what I mean? So I just feel like you have to really take action in this situation in which you have to release something so that you can... This is, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. That's what this card is. You know, you have a lot of power struggles back and forth, back and forth. And it feels like you have to let go of your ego and your pride. And I, and I hate to say that. I mean, I'm a, I'm a strong Capricorn. I mean, I'm Taurus, but I have a lot of Capricorn. I'm, so I hate to say that, but there's ego here that needs to be faced. It's not about proving yourself to, to the others. It's about proving yourself to yourself. It's about you being loved. It's about you feeling loved. It's not about proving to everybody else that you didn't make a mistake, you know, that you didn't go down the right, right road, you know. It's not about that. And that's ego. When you're worried about what everybody else is saying or what everybody else is going to say, because you're not happy, that's ego. So anyway, I feel like you guys are tempted. And you may be even looking, be looking outside of the relationship that you're in. You may be in a relationship right now with somebody. And, and you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, there's lust here. There's, there's attraction. There's, there could be sex on the side. I mean, I'm just telling you what I see. Because you're not getting what you need in a certain situation and you need to find the power that you haven't found with the Ace of Swords in this one. You need to find your power to do what's right for you because you deserve love. But I'm afraid, I, I, I think that you're dealing with an individual or the person that you're thinking about is dealing with an individual who is very manipulative and cunning and, you know, could probably, whoever you're dealing with, or whoever this other person is that you're not happy about, the one that's not, the one that's on the shit list, but you're pretending they're not on the shit list, but the person that is on the shit list is the person that, can really hurt you, you know, is the person that can take from you 
financially or take from you. And that's probably the only reason why you're staying is because you're afraid. But I feel like there, you're tempted to leave this situation, whatever it is. Now, you have to take what fits. Not that this whole reading won't fit with every person. Take what part fits for you. There's, there's some kind of secret here. Somebody is holding a big, huge secret. And it has to do with desires. I'm not happy in this situation. And I want out. But I don't have the strength to do it. That's for somebody. And it's because of my pride. It's because of my ego. So you're letting yourself be manipulated by another person. For some of you, there's a release that needs to happen. And you need, you're going to have to just face your fears. Thing, and this is totally, oh goodness gracious, totally, you're, you're dealing with a situation in which you have evolved, you're evolving, but you're not letting yourself evolve, you know what I mean? You've changed, you're not the same person you were, but you're not letting it happen. It's like you're, you keep putting that, that um, copper in the pot or whatever you want to call it. It's like you just keep. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, it's like a bipolar situation. It's like, we're going to be all right. We can make this work. And then it goes, oh my God, no, we can't make this work. Oh yes, we can make this work. No, we can't make this work. And, you know, that's what it is. You're in a situation where there's a lot of trying to escape it too, trying to escape the reality. So while you're with with the, whoever this situation is that you're not happy with, you know, you're. I think that you're pretending that everything is good. You know, and there may be a lot of arguments going on. There may be a lot of fights, you know. Things may be a little tense wherever the situation is. There's some tension. But I think that when when you are able to, to break away from this person, whether you go to work or do whatever it is, you get away from this situation, you start to breathe again, you start to feel good, and, you know, you probably... go back and forth with that you know it's 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 up and down up and down up and down and i i really feel like you have some your sights set outside of wherever you're at do you know what i'm trying to say it's like you're not content with where you're at and you you do have an opportunity to release and move on but you aren't passing the test because somebody is is winning somebody is manipulating the situation that's the truth <laughs> Somebody is absolutely manipulating the situation. You're dealing with a master manipulator. There's no doubt. Everybody wants to be in control, right? Everybody does. So, you know, it feels like things are really absolutely out of control. And you may not want to accept that. I feel like... You could be getting resentful as you hold on to this situation that isn't fulfilling your needs. So Capricorn, what about in the future? Let's talk about, I mean, I can't, you know, I see that there's desires that you're tempted. You're tempted. You may be tempted by an outsider. <laughs> Oh, things are unbalanced in your life right now. Complete. It looks like it's a complete mess. Okay, it does. It looks like there's a lot of worry and dishonesty, unfortunately. Yeah, you're stuck. You are freaking stuck. You've been, you've been, uh, sacrificing yourself needlessly for somebody that is controlling you whether you're with them or not and they're just controlling your thoughts you are it's like you're being controlled by a situation that is hindering your your progress it's hindering your love life it's hindering your success 
You have the power, you do, to, de to, to, to get whatever you want. But the magician is a person who uses what they have to bring success. They take action. The magician takes action. He don't just sit there and think about it. He's, he uses his, his powers, okay? He uses them. He uses his gifts. He uses his resources to bring success. He takes action. He actually does something about it. Now, the magician is also a person who is willing. Okay, willing to shed. Willing to change. Willing to accept. Willing to become consciously aware of what needs to be done. So, I feel as though you are being divinely guided to find those resources within you to free yourself from this situation that isn't making you happy. Because I feel like you have a connection with somebody outside of whatever relationship this is that you're in that is love. Could lead to love. So Capricorn, what are you going to do? You going to accept a new offer of love or are you going to stay stuck in this rut with a situation that is unfulfilling? You know, for some of you, you may not even be with this person who's still manipulating your thoughts. Or you're, you are still with a person that is, is in complete control of your own happiness. It's time, and it's, you're not in control. You have to take back control. Whoever it is that you're hanging on to is in complete control. You have to find your strength, which is lacking. It's way under here. You've been sacrificing yourself long enough. There's an opportunity, I think, for new love. But, and I think you know who this person is already. The new one. The one that you're looking at. The one that you're looking at. Okay, outside of the relationship or the situation that you've been in. There's an opportunity for love. But you, and it's something you've manifested through your thoughts. But you're going to have to face this demon Let go of the worries about money. Because that's what it is about. That's what it's about. You, I think you guys are, for some of you, not all, for some of you, you're staying in this situation because it's gonna, it would be too much of a financial mess to leave it. For some of you, it's, it's a thought. It's, you know, the thoughts of this person in the past is holding you back for some of you. There's, you're still letting them control. They're still winning because you're not moving on. Although you're tempted to. You're really tempted to fall in love with somebody else. You really are. And I think there's a love connection here that is undeniable. And it's pulling you and it's pulling you and it's pulling you and it's pulling you. And you're, you're just not allowing it when you really, really want to deep down. But you're hiding it. You are absolutely hiding it. With that Two of Swords and that Judgment card, it's being hidden. Your true feelings are being hidden. Remember I said you needed to find your power? Stepping into power. Now, this is base. This is a, like a strength card. The strength is, was reversed, remember? You are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, which it sure as hell does, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, it's amazing, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you've faced are making you stronger. You no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. 
if you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else. It's time to reclaim it. <laughs> it just sums up the whole reading. It really does. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you are afraid of being judged, which you truly are, I already said that, shunned or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. Okay? It's time. If you have been carrying responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward, but on your terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power. I lost my place. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. Find your power. Take back your power, Capricorn. There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that you've been waiting for. Talk to you next time.